Good morning, YouTube. Well, I want to come on here and talk about. Uh, well, I want to talk about this green leaf. I wanted to come on here before the episode airs tonight. Today is the I think it's the eleventh on a Wednesday. It comes on tonight. Uh, so I wanted to discuss the situation with Kevin and Charity. I want to talk about outside of, of reviewing the show or, or recapping the show, just with them specifically. And perhaps uh, uh, some conversation about, but more than them, about the subject of bisexual bisexuality and what that means. Anyway, so those of you who don't un who don't know what I'm talking about, Greenleaf is a series airs on on. The two characters in this in this series, it's about a, a church family, where the bishop, about the bishop's family, bishop of a church. Okay, uh, the bishop's got a daughter. Her name is Charity. And she's married to a bisexual man, or a man who she's discovered is attracted to men. Now, from what this, what they're presenting to us in the story, he has never had sex with with a male. They've been married; they seem to be happily married in the beginning. But he had a secret, something he was struggling with, where he couldn't stay off his phone. And they showed us that he's looking at men online. Okay, so from what he says, he's never had sex with a man. And then, uh, so I don't know if that, that, that's a little too extreme. I guess they want to make a point that he's not just out there having sex with men. But, uh, so Vic's secret in the beginning was, was that he was attracted to men. Okay, at some point he tells Charity, she suspects something's wrong. She suspects that he's having, he's having an affair with a woman. Uh, he decides to confess what was really going on with him, which is that he's attracted to men. He's been looking at men online. Okay, so I, I think it's just she slaps him. I don't remember if she slapped the hell out of him or not. But she can't deal with this. This is too much for her. They're about to have a baby. First, the, they announced that they're having a the baby. Then, then she finds his information out. And their relationship has been on the rocks ever since then. Okay, so... Uh, so she can't handle it. So they have a temporary split kind of thing. She gets so overwrought with with, with uh, emotion. At one point, she is rushed to the hospital and she miscarries one of the babies. They were having twins. So one of the babies has been born healthy. But the marriage is still not repaired. Now, as far as I know, nobody else in the family knows what's going on with them. They know that they have some problems in the marriage. They live in the, in the Greenleaf Mansion with, with the family, around the family. But there's no, there's been no scene where anyone outside of those two had been confronted with the issue. So, okay, so the last couple of episodes, they've been making up, they've been getting along better. He's back in the house, she's invited him to come back into the house, but they have not had physical relations, that means sex. <laughs> okay, he very much wants this to happen. There's no, there's never been any indication that he's not in love with his wife, that he wants the relationship, marriage to work. He thought by confessing what was going on with with him, letting letting her in, it's kind of into his psyche, that they would work it out. But it's not working out that way. She there's a little bit of hypocrisy in charity because she didn't have a problem with gay people. All of the people she was she's the uh, head of the music department. All the men that she works with, most of the ones we've seen have been gay. The choir director that left, and then no, this new one that they just recently fired for being gay, for being out and gay. She doesn't seem to have a problem with any of them. And in fact, the person is, is kind of she's giving an eyeball to right now. Seems like he might have a little, a little sweetness in his tank. But at any rate, so Kevin wants the relationship to get back on track. She likes him, and. I'm sure part of her loves him, but she cannot see being with him after this information. So she's making the same mistake that a lot of us make, I think. She's not accepting bisexuality. She, in her mind, a person is either gay or they're straight. Now, we're all, well, a lot of us are guilty of that. Not only straight people, but many, many, many gay people I know also have a problem with bisexuality. They don't understand it. We see things through our own experience. If we are gay, we see, well, how can you be with a woman? You're gay. And, you know, 
that's just our own experience. You know, we, we, we don't re identify or relate to being attracted to most people. But there are bisexuals. It's called L G B B being bisexual T. We say they're part of the community, but many of us don't accept that they are. That, that, that it's just a transition. We think that uh, if a person is bisexual, they're confused. But I don't think that, that that's true. And I was rooting for this marriage. I was hoping that they could somehow work it out. Because <clears throat> because he's in love with her. He's in love with her, but she fell out of love with him knowing that he was uh, he had homosexual tendencies. So the hypocrisy in her is that she she's willing to, to, to uh, say that she didn't have a problem with gay people, but she don't want to be married to one, and she cannot touch one. She doesn't want to be physically. In other words, she doesn't want to get more drawn in to a situation she feels is probably hopeless. And I don't know that it necessarily is. What what is what is bisexual? Can a marriage work with a man who's bisexual? I mean, we got all kind of names for it, all the way on the down low and all those kind of things. But we're really saying that the down low, from my, my from what I understand, is a person who's actually homosexual, but they're pretending to be heterosexual for whatever reasons, for church reasons or work reasons or whatever. But we, what we're not accepting is that the person is attracted to both sexes. Now, here's the question. Can a person be attracted to both sexes and be faithful in marriage? I think that's the part of it. That's, that's what she can't, she can't accept. She, I'm sure in her mind, she thinks that, well, if I go back with this man, if I open my heart up to him again, at some point, he's going to be with a man. But the thing is, Charity... What if he's with a woman? Is it, would it be different? I mean, there's still, there's, you can't, ident you can't handle the idea of a gay person touching you. I think that's what it is. Because men cheat all the time. Hell, they, because it's with a woman, what, what's the difference really? The difference is it's, it's with a man. So you have a prejudice against men being with men. He could he could be with every whore in town, and you could work it out, as long as it's not with a man, which is unfair, and <clears throat> because he's attracted, he he hasn't he hasn't been out there whoring, so many men and you guys know it's true, they're out there cheating with women all the time, but that is somehow in a different class than cheating with a man, and it shouldn't be. We are much more forgiving when a woman. Is with another woman. Straight people don't really have a problem with that. They say they do. But most of them don't. A lot of men have a, are, are kind of freaky about women being with women. If you go to to heterosexual porn, you always see women with being with women, or or group sex with women kissing each other and touching each other and things like that. That's that's always been. But if a male do it, oh my God, they want to throw the magazine across the room. Across the room. It's so unfair. It's unfair. It's unfair the way we as, as as gay men treat bisexuality and straight people as well. So I guess the question is, because I was rooting for Kevin. I was saying this man loves his wife. And now the truth has come out. And I was wondering, can they make this marriage work with this information? Can he be attracted to both sexes and still be faithful to his wife? I think it, is it. Um, in my own experience, it seems like at some point, you know, when the sex kind of dies, dies down in the marriage, people are together, you know, they're all in love, they're, and it's exclusive in the beginning. But many times, over time, people start to tip. They start to tip out a little bit. So the only difference is he could be tipping out with a male or a female, where a straight person will be just tipping out with a female. <laughs> That's basically it. So I think, yes, they could have made it work. They could have worked out problems uh, <clears throat> like any other couple could have worked out the problems. It's just that the person, other person would be male or could be male if it happened. So to think that because a person is gay, that means they are incapable of being monogamous with a person, it's unfair. 
because uh, <clears throat> I mean, I'm all over the place and my throat's going and I'm trying to work out the sound system kind of thing anyway point is this I was rooting for the marriage I was hoping they make it make it make, they can make it work she got a child now so I guess either they're gonna write Kevin out the script or they're gonna put him with the guy and he's gonna be like a gay parent you know so what about the bisexual person? Does that, does that mean he can never be married to anyone? Does that mean, because now you have gay marriage, so he can marry a male. Could it be the same situation? If he was with a male, would he be, uh, would he be likely to cheat on, on, on his male, his, his, his husband with a woman? Go both ways, right? He's bisexual. I think bisexual means you could be with either one. It doesn't mean you have to be with either with, with with either one, you know. What I mean, you have to be with both. You have to have uh, the heterosexual self of yourself side of yourself fulfilled, and the the heterosexual part of your life fulfilled. I mean, maybe it's just more of a question, something I'm not really aware of. I do have some experience. I tend to like to talk about things through my own experience because I like to know what I'm talking about. But I was involved with this man for eight years, right? This is during the drug days. But I was involved with this man. So obviously we had physical relationship. But he was a bisexual person. Now, I'll just speak about what was going on with me. I knew he was bisexual. And I think I knew that he tended, when he seek pleasure, he was more likely to go with a woman than, than than a guy. I think he was more involved in the in the homosexual lifestyle. He was he was having guys more because he was on dope and in the streets and you know we were we were both in the business kind of thing. And I think he saw it that way, even though he wouldn't be able to, been able to do it if he wasn't wasn't at least bisexual. Anyway, he saw uh, bisexuality as just a, 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 an act. But I think when he saw a real relationship, he saw it with a woman. So my thing was this. I can remember this very clearly. I had no problem with him having a girlfriend. I didn't, I didn't, it didn't bother me at all. And something I, I felt like I couldn't change. About, it was just a primary thing about him. He liked girls. He was attracted to girls. And all the time, that whole eight years, he had girlfriends. But if he was with another guy, I had an extremely huge problem with it. See, I was intimidated by him being with other guys. As long as our relationship was special, I felt like I had that part of his life locked up. It didn't bother me that he was with uh, a girl. It was separate. I was able to s separate them. And amazingly, he wanted me to, to have a relationship with his girlfriends, not physical relationships. But he wanted us to know each other. And we did know each other to an extent. In fact, when they had a they had a baby, they named their baby, the middle name, after me. So it wasn't like something... It was something that could be worked out. I think it's what I'm, what I'm saying. Now, granted, there were no marriages at the time, although he did eventually marry his girlfriend. And I was happy for him. I was very happy for him. I, 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 I still felt like they didn't invalidate our relationship, but our relationship was based out of the streets and out of drugs and stuff and so forth. Anyway, so I think what I was saying was if they got in a situation where he went out and had sex with a man now and again, maybe every three or four months, he, she, he did something. I think that would be much easier to deal with than him going out and being with a woman, cheating on the woman. Because see, she's threatened by a woman. Because a woman could take a woman from 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 him. I mean, another woman could pull him away from her. But his attraction to men is totally separate from his attraction to women. So you figure that one out. <laughs> I know it's complicated. I thought I'd come on here and just be smart, clever. And, and work this thing out why I think they should make their marriage work. But it is complicated. It's very complicated. It's, it's, it's individual. But I believe that a bisexual 
just because they're bisexual it doesn't mean they have to cheat it doesn't mean they have to be they have to have both it means they can have either or in my opinion now Kevin has got these urges he keeps wanting to be with men and so forth perhaps that could just be a knowledge that they that they have and perhaps maybe since one someday she'd be free enough to be generous with him to say well maybe you should find out what it's like at least go and do it it, it could happen I mean I've met bisexual couples occasionally not very often usually the lifestyles are pretty separate but uh occasionally I've met someone who is married and their wife knows that they mess around and they allow them to do that and sometimes the woman is the one that's bisexual and a lot of women are women tend to be more bisexual than men I mean uh All the women I know that were in, in from what they, well, what they tell me now, in prison, girls are routinely with each other. They have an inside part more so than with men. The men do it too, but it's routine in in a women's prison. So women are, I think, are more capable of that. And somehow people find that less offensive than man with man. Anyway, I'm going on and on and on and on. And on. Uh, I just want to come on here. Uh, to talk about the situation with Kevin. It looks like she can't do it. The last episode, she told him he climbed on top of her. It was spontaneous. He climbed on top of her, trying to make love to her. But, you know, the girl, girl's got to be kind of into it or, or, or nothing's coming up, if you get my drift. Uh, she can't do it. And not only can she not do it, she told him it is over. Not only am I not going to do it now, it's over. It's not going to happen. So that's a, a prejudice on, on her part because she said she didn't know, or she seems to be, they present that she didn't have a problem with gay men, but she's not willing to to accept it in her own relationship. So if, so I guess if Kevin would just go out and fuck women, that would be fine. You know. I mean, I don't know. It's complicated. It's complicated. But we all need to stop tr treating these people, bisexual people, it's like they they are are they either gay or straight. They're bisexual, and so it's complicated. And you wonder, well, how can this person be happy? How can Kevin be happy? Will he be happy? Find full total fulfillment with a male, or we, or some maybe with some other woman. Does it have to come down to a choice? It's a question. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm hoping, I'm still hoping that somehow it, it, it could work. I mean, it's terrible to bring a baby into, into the world. And they both seem to love each other and care about each other. But they have this issue, this this thing, his attraction. And uh, I don't know. I'm just kind of sad for Kevin. Okay, so I rambled a little bit. Forgive me. I'm hoping this, this uh, video... The sound is right and the picture is right. I'm having such problems. I get such, I'm almost brain dead to this mechanical type stuff. So I'm trying to work it out. Be patient, please. Thank you. Uh, watch your release tonight.